I, um, I was told that there was a senior police official here that they had an office here. Uh -oh. If you go out and around and follow that sidewalk all the way down, there's police services. That's where the stars are. Okay, I'm not familiar. I just... You can check, but I'm pretty sure that they close at 4 o'clock. Okay, that's my bad if I'm late, but I'll go out and know for next time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a vlog anyway. That, I noticed that. That was automatic. They have motion sensors and the door opens itself. This is like an obscenely nice plaza. An obscenely nice plaza. And they're building new fucking units over there. But the, the fit and finish of all this stuff is in the quality of the concrete pour and this is just a cesspool of money that's the council chamber it's right there with a mini clock tower like we live in a world where hundreds of millions can't eat um and we make our public official office gaudy and let's let's go ahead and drop that one off they close at five or i mean four isn't that like disrespectful like I, I timed quitting work today to come here, and you, you go to the latest possible time. Oh, fuck, there's a bike back over here, so I walked for no reason. <clears throat> so that means I have to take off earlier, and that makes it even harder. We still know where to go and not have to get off my damn bike. Oh, no, I see a cop over there. Police services, yeah, okay. See how nice this shit is? I would commit suicide if I was a part of that work crew. Nope. Okay, well, she told me. Because now, because I didn't know that, it's on me too. I didn't look at the time. This is just ridiculous. <sighs> we live in a world where if we did things logically and we planned, everyone could be at peace and be happy. We could all have this, really. Um, all of us, all the whole world, 7.5 billion people, all of us. Um, but we, the way it's structured, we'll build this nice area like this with all this, these nice, nice benches and gardens, but then say, don't come over here. It, yeah, it's, it's city hall and you're supposed to be able to come here, but the cops will harass you like a homeless dude in a shopping cart stops there. And that's sad enough, like in our fucking world where people are homeless, but it, it, you would be preyed upon here if you were an undesirable badly <sighs> that's the senior center rich white community in Orange County California senior center yeah there gonna be some Karens there a lot of Karens you're not fucking well I got to smoke weed everywhere but it's California we just, we just do not give a fuck as long as you're smoking smoking areas which is a whole nother thing and I vape anyway God, these are nice buildings, though. These are, this is that place where a two-bedroom apartment could hit up towards a million. An apartment, right? Hmm. Now, this is interesting. They have, at the senior center, they have an outdoor um, fake lawn for, like, the dogs to play on and stuff, which is kind of cool. 
I would come over here and do trick training and stuff with my dog. Um, this would be that would be a great way for me to get YouTube subscribers, followers, and stuff. Is to do this is a beautiful little be here in business time where there's a lot of people and make the dog do crazy stuff and talk to people who get interested, like the people that like dogs. See, I could do stuff like that and get my life go and get get my business off the ground it's easy i, I know what i'm doing I'm, i've got a handle on that i just got to get rid of these goddamn stalkers that fuck up everything i do okay you all acting like i can just go back to work at mcdonald's i put my fucking head through one of their freezer door things i banged up the they're fragile as fuck they're full of foam they're they're soft but i fucked up a, a freezer bent the door so the door wouldn't seal properly and if the door doesn't seal properly, it can't keep it blast freezer level in there. And it fucked up. Like, it seriously fucked them up for a minute. They had to, like, shut off the freezer and take everything out of it. And... Oops. Okay, that's literal. I mean, I've got three McDonald's in my life, and I fucking spazzed. Shortly after I got kidnapped with the hooker. Aaron, one of my worst bullies, knows about this. When I got kidnapped um, by the hooker I was trying to pick up, and then later... Um, the next job I got was McDonald's in Taylor Mill, Kentucky, and I spazzed the fuck out on him. Dicks. <sighs> oh, multi-level parking structure, and the roof has shit, I can't I couldn't never mirror. The roof has solar panels. The whole thing has pavilion solar floor panels. You can park under the solar panels in the shade, and they have charger ports. So you can charge an EV for free with the solar from the roof and park in the shade. And park in the exact wrong, the exact opposite corner of the fucking plaza. Ah. And of course we got views. We'll spend all this money and people barely get any use out of it and everyone has nothing and it's completely non-utilitarian. Like you could just because of the way is this is laid out, you bring everything together in a four-story tall building with an elevator, and that is in the corner way over there, so we can have a big park and probably like you know a big apart. You could you could house people here. You could you build a whole apartment complex with a bunch of people. It's the whole of our world is not built to be efficient or economical. It's wasteful as fuck. And the rich people don't care because they have that extra fluff and like that extra space. But the the bottom are, are, are there's no safety net. There's no I never had a fucking chance in life. I started at 18 homeless. I had nothing. And then I borrowed student loans to get housing for a short while, but I got fucked off like crazy. And people kept taking advantage of me and fucking me off. Like one of my bullies, one of a, a specific one of them is one of my bullies. Goes back that far. And like I had a landlord that I paid the rent with my student loans. I gave him money orders. I gave him like $3,600 of money orders. And then they came back and said, hey, you never have some money. And then later admitted, well, the bitch that works for us stole a bunch of money and checks and stuff and used your authority to cash stuff and fled the country. I don't know your bitch. I don't know. Yes, you. That's all you. Okay. And that's it. I've been, as soon as I dropped out of college to try to work full time and survive, I, I got fucked off. I had to do a little time in jail and lost my apartment and shit. And that would have been like 2007. But I was only in the apartment like four or five months. People don't even understand. There was about a year in one apartment, three months in another apartment. The year it was in the one I got with my student loans and they ripped me off. They tried to make me pay my rent again because the bitch sold the money. And then it's like three months in my first apartment at Northern. And by my freshman year, I was in dorms and I get kicked out for holidays and I'd be homeless some of the time and it was iffy and that little few times I went home to see my parents were nightmare times and that's some fights and shit down to the very last night the, the last night there was a fight and I left and never came back in the freshman year to this day I've never been at home
I didn't go to college by choice. My parents forged my name and stuff on the papers. So I actually answered, no, I don't want to go. I'll, I'll be homeless, whatever. They forged my fucking name and filled out all the papers and dropped me off standing out front. So I had a two choices, go in the dorm and do school or walk off into the woods, not knowing anything about the world, not having cl- nothing. I have fucking nothing. And I always wore bad shoes because my parents would only buy me like $5 shoes. But I was just, just absolute destitute. So I was like, okay, I'll go into school. And the counselor was frankly bullying me for being poor and said I, sh- I needed money. If I'm going to go to school, I can't just have a meal plan and sit in the dorm room all day. So I got student loans, and then people fucked me off. And I learned a thing or two about the world, and I've been destitute ever since. But that's it. So there was only like maybe 30 months of housing in my adult life in 18 years. Maybe not even that. 12, 24 is two years, two and a half years. That's it. And I had an office here in California for about a year for $350 a month, which was a godsend. And I got, so that's when I got the first service dog and things started going so much better and I learned so much and changed my life and blah, blah, blah. And now I do this. For the bullies, you're never going to get me off here. You're never going to fuck me off. Why? Because witnesses. Like, I need witnesses. I need proof and evidence trails of where I am and what's going on. I know that now. I know for a fact I need proof. I need proof. Why did I... Like, if Dason comes into the park to fuck with me, he can call the cops and say, Yeah, Colton came over here and, and is fucking me up. Uh, and I'd be like, No, I was here last night. I did a live stream on Twitch and can prove it. Like, look. God, you can hear, hear me talk, play Harston or something for 30 minutes. Boom, here. I did a live. We know. Like a journal. like a, Almost like a... Well, Big Wood Vlogs is supposed to really be like that. I just never have the fucking time. Because the bullies. <laughs> bully, 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 bully. Always bully. They have no life. <laughs> 